Welcome back to GMT. Time now to bring you up to date on Brexit news, where there's been quite a bit of movement. Theresa May's government will today spell out the details of the deal it made with its own potential Conservative rebels that finally enabled the EU withdrawal bill to get through Parliament. Jean-Claude Juncker, President of the European Commission, is in Ireland for two days of meetings. The Irish Prime Minister saying there's not much time left to reach a Brexit agreement and much more must be done to sort out the Irish border issue. And on another of the key sticking points, how many EU citizens living here can stay, the UK Home Secretary has been talking about how they'll be able to apply for what's known as settled status post-Brexit. He says the government's default position will be to grant status to EU nationals living here in the UK as quickly as we can. It will be very sort of driven by your know, default view that yes. you, know, you provide this information and if, if you are not going to be granted status, there has to be a very good reason why you're not going to get that. And that probably be to either, it's, let's say, you've got a serious criminal conviction or you've given some kind of false information on uh, your identity or something uh, of that uh, type. Well, I'm joined now by Nicholas Hatton of The Three Million, which campaigns on behalf of EU citizens here in the UK. And with us from Berlin, with the other side of the story, is Jane Golding from British in Europe, a campaign group for UK citizens living in the EU. Thank you and both welcome to GMT. Nicholas, I'm going to begin with you. What do you think about the solution the UK government is offering? I think it's welcome that after two years of waiting for a solution, we can see some details finally and some people will be reassured that uh, the scheme will be quite simple and straightforward but, and there's a but unfortunately, people have been so worried for such a long time that this statement will not be enough to reassure them. And does, when you say simple, relatively simple, is, is, there, is the clarity, is the detail on just how citizens will be able to apply to stay here? Was well, it going to be, I mean, Amber Rudd uh, famously said that it should be as simple as registering for an online store loyalty card. It won't be as simple as this, we, I wish it was, but it will be online, there will be very little evidence to provide, and uh, if the Home Office is true to their words, most people will then get their, their ID through this way, so they can stay after Brexit. And Nicholas, that matters, doesn't it? Because originally people were talking about they're going to have to upload pages and pages mm. and so many documents. It was a real hurdle. Well, past experience have been uh, challenging, yeah. negative. Diplomatically put. Yeah, because uh, there's been a rejection of 30% of application for Europeans wanting to get their permanent residence certificate. So I think the Home Office has learned from their mistakes in that sense. But the Windrush fiasco has created a lot About of... Former Caribbean immigrants. Yes. Yeah. So people are worried that if they don't... It's still an application. It's not a registration. So it can be declined. And we, we, are the, we heard the Home Secretary saying that you know, it'd be exceptional. Well, we'll make sure it is. Otherwise, we'll make a lot of noise. Because those that won't be able to apply or won't get their ID will be deemed as illegal after Brexit. And I think there, will, there could be the next wind rush in that sense. So okay. we've got to be very careful. So there's still a lot of concern there. Let's turn to Jane, because uh, you are speaking on behalf of, I suppose, uh, Brits who are in many different European countries, Jane. That's right. Um, we, um, are, uh, 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 we are a coalition of different groups across the EU27, and we have members in most countries across the EU27, the most obviously in the largest countries like France, Spain, Germany, Italy, etc. How much clarity is there for you on what happens after Brexit? Um, we don't have absolute clarity yet because in December, in, at the last minute, in the common understanding that the UK and the EU reached, uh, a, a, an additional option was added so that we could either um, end up with the existing system under EU law and just have our rights confirmed or something similar to settled status. And that only became an option back in December because the UK obviously was insisting on that sort of uh, option for EU citizens in the UK. And Jane, I just want to put to you something that the Home Secretary also said in a statement today. He said, um, 
Europe from Brussels is just not good enough. He said there aren't similar plans on how EU member states are going to support British nationals like you in their countries. Well, obviously, we um, welcome any. Uh, we welcome the fact that the Home Secretary is putting this back on the table and any support that we're getting on getting clarity on the systems. But you have to remember that EU 27 countries on the whole are not starting from scratch. They have registration systems. We're registered. It's really just a question of whether and how those registration systems will be extended to us. If the Home Secretary and Theresa May are really serious about their rights, then what we really want them to do is put our continuing free movement back on the table because that's critical for our members. Jane, thank you very much. Nicholas, we've only got a few seconds left on programme, but I just want to reflect the fact this is deeply emotional. It's about where your life is, where your future is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I never thought I was an immigrant. I came from another member state and uh, the atmosphere was very friendly and welcoming back in the 90s when I arrived. Things have changed and we've seen a lot of verbal abuse, uh, physical abuse of Europeans and this got to stop. So I think it's great to have the status but let's make sure that discrimination and the hate crimes is battled against as well. Thanks for being with us.